Good morning. It's day two of the Great West Way and we're in Bath. It's a really nice crisp morning, really icy, no snow though. So we're gonna go into the the Roman baths. But if you want a detailed look, look in the playlist. I'll put the links below. We've already got a really good video about the Roman baths and the history. So have a look at that. And after that, we're going on a quick tour of Bath itself. So uh, let's go and get warm. Dodgy character, oh, Lucius Marcius, you, yeah. an omen reading priest. Behind me is the original temple pediment. Mel, do you think there's some resemblance between me and the, the yeah, a bit unruly? Nice decorative piece for your slave, sir. <laughs> slave I don't know if he's worth it. <laughs> oh, look at that. It depends on the price. Five denarii, that. Five denarii? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can make it four. <laughs> I'll make it four. A three, you may have a deal. Can't go as low as three. Yeah, handmade this. I made it with my own hands. This. Yeah. What do you think of that, madam? It's the nicest perfume going in town at the moment. Oh. Olive oil and gladiator sweat. Would you like a sniff? Uh, I don't think so. No. no. Thank you anyway. Oh, I can't help myself. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit of um, I'm getting a bit of armpit. <laughs> I wonder if the price goes up if you get slaughtered in the arena. Maybe. No, she don't sweat as well. If you're oh dead. yeah, 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 cold. I get them out. I get the winners out. The champion. The champ. This yeah. is champion sweat. Champion sweat. <laughs> Not dead boy sweat. Okay. No one that. Champion. Anyway, slave. Ten for you too. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank enjoy you. your bathing. Thank you. Vale. <laughs> This is the sacred spring overflow and you can already feel the heat coming from the hot water. Are you going to taste the water now? I am. It looks warm. It's got a sulfury smell. That's me, sorry. It's it's quite irony, so metally. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's very metally, isn't it? I think I'll pass on that. Yeah. So this is my wildflower diamond, which is totally unique in the world. Um, you can only buy it from Nicholas Wilde. It is unique because uh, what we've yes. cleverly done is so we've uh, put 24 more facets on yeah. a round stone and created this very romantic yeah. flower within the stone. So at the back there, you can see the flower yeah. that's on behind. And uh, if you look through the diamond, you'll see the beautiful flower. And that's the romantic side of the one flower diamond. Um, it's very popular for engagement rings. We do a lot of engagement rings because the, the diamond stone is not only romantic, but it's, um, it sparkles like no other diamond. It looks bigger than any other diamond because there's a fraction of light in it. So it's uh, totally unique. And then we've got the wild art, which is totally unique as well. I'm going to show you this yeah. one because this is the design. Yeah. And then he creates it. Um,
like a dental stand. <laughs> So what she's doing is uh, just filling up that gap with the laser, melting the metal yeah, together. Yeah, I can see there. So the story of Bath basically starts in 863 BC with Prince Bladud, who's rumoured to be King Lear's dad, essentially. Um, Prince Bladud goes on a, a kind of a, goes on a journey to Athens and comes back with leprosy, and he's a member of court. So obviously, immediately straight away, <laughs> they chuck him out. Yeah. <laughs> After have a souvenir when he comes back. Basically, goes walking around the countryside around here with a group of pigs. So when you come and visit Bath, look out for acorns because this references back to the story of Bath, and you can see them up the top of the circus around here. So the whole idea is that <laughs> Prince Bladud and his pigs stumble across Bath and they're, they're all diseased, uh, but the pigs go bathing in these hot waters and they come out instantly cured, yeah. as many myths and legends that <laughs> with, with people who it, have leprosy. Is that cured the wrong word for you to <laughs> <say>? <laughs> yeah. And Prince Bladud then goes in himself and gets cured. At that point he goes back to court, he's allowed to return, but he supposedly founds the city of Bath. And that's why people have been coming here for 2,000 years, essentially. But where we are now, in the circus, is John Wood's next major kind of building development in the 1700s. But sadly, the first few stones are laid and he passes away. So building is taken over by his son, John Wood, yeah. <laughs> the younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have John Wood the elder and John Wood the younger. You don't and have to change the business cards that way. Do yeah, you? yeah, just, just <laughs> cross off the, yeah. Yeah, the elder. In the Georgian period, you're meant to be seen, you're meant to be heard. Everybody knows your business. Gossip is kind of the foundation of that society. So if you notice how everything's looking in on itself. And actually, the Victorians come along a bit later and plant these huge trees, but this is not what it would have originally no. looked like. So, Originally, the circus looks a bit like that. So you can imagine walking through how everyone can see what you're doing. They know your business. And the best way to demonstrate this is actually for me to stand in the centre of the circle because acoustically, yeah. John Wood designed this so that you can be heard everywhere around. So, and they'll go. And acoustically, it reverberates around. And for me, that's what the circus is all about. Yeah. It's being heard and being seen. This is where it all happened in Georgian society. Um, the only assembly rooms left in Bath are here. This one, these were opened in 1771, um, but there were more dotted around if you go near the Abbey, where there are now gardens, parade gardens, uh, there was an assembly rooms there. But nowadays, very nice, very comfortable place to come and have a look around. But if you imagine um, coming here, you've got six fireplaces, roaring, hundreds of people, Bonash, the master of ceremonies, has, has worked out who you're going to be dancing with in the evening. And for some dances, you, you're, you're quite literally paired up with someone who, who may or may not be of interest to you. And you have to dance in front of the whole room, in front of hundreds of people in a hot, sweaty environment. But the thing that I try to talk about when I think of the Georgian period is, is it's, it's not, it, it is romantic. It's grand. Uh, they wear beautiful dresses, but also quite dirty. I mean, these guys are not washing much. They're, they're cramped in rooms like this, dancing around, and the heat would have been extreme. So when I think of, of the assembly rooms, it, it is grand, and they are playing cards and drinking tea, but also everyone's a complete mess. Um, not too different to 3 a.m. on the streets of Bath <laughs> nowadays, yeah, actually. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So day two on the Great West Way and it's lunchtime and we're at Kaufman and Mr White's just behind the Abbey. So the afternoon, day two, Great West Way, reporting for Fly Drive Explore. And we're in Laycock, 
and we're just having a quick look around the town and Laycock Abbey. Well, this is inside the cloisters of Laycock Abbey. It was founded about 800 years ago by um, Augustinian nuns. In recent years, they used it in some of the scenes in Harry Potter, and you can see why. And in this room, in the cloisters, they've actually got <coughs> Harry Potter films at Laycock. What have you been up to, Mr. Potter? Good evening from Devizes Marina Lodge. And here we are, lodge number four. Let's go and have the obligatory room tour. So as you come in, you've got the cloakroom, some of your big coats, another cupboard over there, wine rack, and we come through to the kitchen, dining room, lounge, it's Melissa in the corner on her phone, and there she is. And as you come out onto the decking, canal boat in the marina, and down here we've got the hot tub. So this is the main bedroom, and this is the wardrobes, toilet and shower through there, another bathroom there, and finally, uh, like a twin room, kids room maybe, and there's another TV there as well. So that we're gonna stay in tonight and relax, watch the TV and get that hot tub to work, so. Mm -hmm. 